So this is what makes the 36Y so special. I don't know any other motorhome that comes with two bedrooms. It's a good thing about having a 36 foot floor plan. We can start compiling all that storage. There's one thing we're missing is all bedrooms have to have a bathroom, right? For the 36 wide checks off as well. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RFBing. I'm here with Mike Grove. You have a Holiday Rambler shirt on, but you are from Fleetwood yeah. Rev Crew. Hey, we're doing both. You, you threw me <laughs> off. You may be familiar if you've seen Mike before. He does a lot of videos for Fleetwood. Yes. Go check him out on uh, the Fleetwood website because he does a lot of informative videos. But today he's going to be showing us a brand new floor plan. It is the Fleetwood Fortis 36Y. 36Y. A lot of really good features on this motorhome for an aggressive price point. Before we start this exterior tour, we have to point something out, and it's this. Such a beautiful coach, yet... It's it, missing something. It's nude. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it missing? RV Snap Pads. What is RV Snap Pad? It is the world's only permanent jack pad. We've had it on our motorhome for four years. years. The same original one for four years. They're absolutely awesome. Made in the USA. Tell them a little yep. bit more about yeah, this. Yeah, they're still going strong on ours. So the benefits of RV snap pads, you have permanent jack pads installed at all times, so there's no on and off. It's going to give you increased stability for each of your landing feet, added protection for your jack feet from any bending or damage. It's going to reduce any slipping or sinkage on soft surfaces. So if you're on grass or, or dirt that gets wet or things like that, it's going to help with that. And also it's going to give you protection from indirect lightning strikes. They're made in the USA. They always give discounts to first responders and military. However, if you don't fall into one of those categories, you can get a discount code by using the code ENDLESS10 and you get 10% off, which is pretty awesome. Many, many RVers have been using this. We absolutely love them. Go check them out. So this is the Fortis 36Y. This is the very first one we built. It's uh, actually on a 26,000 pound chassis. So if you know towing is a concern for you, this is the chassis you want to be in. Has the uh, 22 and a half inch, the Alcoa aluminum wheels. All the Fortises come standard with a full body paint and uh, some upgraded minis we'll get in on the inside. But we'll go through and look at some of the storage and stuff real quick. Our first compartment is going to be our inverter, 2000 watt inverter. All of our slide out and uh, battery disconnects are inside there. The uh, next one, somebody's already adopted for some storage That's our oh there. <laughs> and uh, pass through storage there I think tip to tip this is 38 foot 11 you remind me and I'll check the tag but I'm thinking it's 38 11 a uh, little storage here and you see our tanks right above it we have a exterior entertainment system right above here I think it's a 50 inch I'm pretty sure two uh, exterior speakers which the, uh, the receiver's on the inside in the bedroom on this one. Some more storage here. And with all of our units, and it's great, you can see it here, but all of our underbellies are sheet steel. So that's gonna give you the best moisture protection and durability as well, versus some of the other materials that are found on the bottom. Potable water fill right here, and some pass-through storage with our ladder extension for the rear cap. We have a full exterior kitchen. It's very nice to be able to sit outside underneath your awning and uh, prepare some meals. Everybody's going to the electric griddles, so that comes included. The uh, refrigerator, and we have a hookup here to spray off any dishes or something you may have as well with some storage up above. So over here on the driver's side of the 36Y, in our first compartment, we're covered up by some banners right here, but we have our propane tank located behind this door. Moving up to the next bay, this is just an extension of the other side. This is pass-through storage right here. Next one, this is the other side of our tanks plus our, all of our knife valves. You can see a water pump and our whole house filter right inside there as well. If we look up above that, we have our exterior shower and we have a 10 gallon water heater. The next compartment is another continuation, pass through storage for all those bulkier items. Slide back to the rear, more pass through storage. It's a good thing about having a 36 foot floor plan, we can start compiling all that storage the uh, fuel fill and some pass-through storage here and that's our inver or, uh, sorry that's our transfer switch so that's what's powering your unit and then we have a 5.5k uh, generator on board as well that is a Cummins owning generator we can try to sneak back here and see a little bit of the rear cap you know it comes with a full uh, fiberglass rear cap and it comes with an 8,000 pound hitch since this is built on a 26,000 pound chassis it really increases our OCCC plus our towing <music> So 
So now that we're inside the 36Y, we can just start up here at the front just real quick. It's the standard Ford layout up front, but we do include two monitors. So the monitor on our left is dedicated to our cameras. So that way, when you're looking at your mirror, you can see what's uh, on your cameras as well. And the one on your right is gonna be dedicated towards your navigation. We have a tabletop here for your passenger. It just pops up while you're traveling down the road. And we also have a Wi-Fi Ranger equipped as well. So that's gonna boost your existing signal. So back here in the living area, we have standard sofa right here. The good thing about this sofa is it jackknifes out for additional sleeping. And it's really neat layout because when this unit's uh, closed up in travel mode, you can still jackknife this out for additional sleeping. So if you're stopping at a campsite or a Walmart, Cracker Barrel, yeah, yeah, you can uh, still find somewhere to sleep. Right here, we have an L-shaped dinette. It opens up this living area. And again, while this is closed up, this can be dropped down. And then we have a queen bed over the cab that can be dropped down. So plenty of sleeping in here. The TV is on a swivel. So that way, if you're sitting over here on your sofa, you can see it just fine. Back into the kitchen, we have solid surface countertops, the farm style sink. And with all of our products, we do a lot of adjustable shelving. So that way you can really optimize the space that uh, that's in there, convection microwave, three burner cooktop, and a nice uh, residential refrigerator. All of our products come with a residential refrigerator. So coming across from the galley, we have our precision circuits panel. This is gonna be controlled from your cell phone, have access to all of your slides, your tank levels, your auto gen star, all of your features can be controlled through here. And then we go into our first, this is a full bathroom located midship, plenty of storage. We got the glass doors, all porcelain toilets and all of our product. And my favorite part of the motorhomes is always the pantry. Again, all adjustable shelves. So if you're putting cereal, canned goods, whatever, we can adjust those to optimize our space. Uh, moving back into the rear bedroom, we have a king bed and some storage up above. Yeah, and the, uh, the middle one's prepped for a CPAP. Gotta have that. Everybody's doing that. I didn't realize how popular those yeah. were. But coming over to the wardrobe, you can tell there's 10 drawers right here for storage. And then we have a hanging wardrobe on each side. And these can be configured in several different ways. You can do a full length wardrobe, two half wardrobes, or a half wardrobe and shelves. The one on the other side just mirrors it. And there is actually a lot of storage behind the TV as well. Right here's that radio that casts the speakers outside. All right, so this is what makes the 36Y so special. I don't know any other motorhome that comes with two bedrooms. We have a sofa right here that jackknifes out for additional sleeping. And then we have a TV right here on a swivel. So we can be sitting in the, uh, the kids can be back here playing their PlayStation, their Xbox, whatever, while you're driving. And don't worry, they'll be safe. There's two seat belts back here. So it's nice to have that in here as well. Coming over here on the other side is a bunk bed up top. The ladder slides over. Right here is a combo washer and dryer. And then there's one thing we're missing is all bedrooms have to have a bathroom, right? Well, the 36Y checks that is off as well. So we have a half bathroom here for the kids. Fleetwood does an amazing job of using space. Yeah. Like that, that laundry right there. I mean, this is, this is a great room. Yeah, I was very impressed with our design team whenever this came out, when I first stepped into it. It's a very neat layout. Mike, thank you very much for taking the time for that detailed overview and tour of this beautiful, what I think is really the only one on the market. It's the only one I'm aware of with yeah. two bedrooms. So people are going to want to know if they want to get this unit, what is the uh, retail and what is the show price at the Tampa show? So as you guys know, I really don't do too much with the numbers, but the MSRP on this unit is two forty nine nine forty five. And they have it discounted for the Tampa Super Show at $165,995. So if you're interested in this, I'm sure there is some room for negotiation. And there's always room. They never put their best price they never, first. Well, a good deal will never <laughs> put their best price. Yeah, if you're interested in it, contact uh, Fleetwood or any of their dealerships. You can go right to their website, right? They have Absolutely. all your dealerships. Mm -hmm. One more question before we finish up. People want to know uh, tank sizes on here. So the 36Y comes with a 100 gallon fresh tank, a 50 gallon black, and a 50 gallon gray. That's awesome, especially for something this size. Put in the comments below, guys, what do you think about this? We think this is a really cool floor plan and it's very aggressively priced. To the left of us, if you like videos like this, we're gonna put our RV tours playlist, our RV newbies playlist, and for myself, MJ on the camera, and Mike, we thank you guys for watching. It's a journey of a lifetime and we'll see you on the road.